Hi everyone, welcome back to U-Boat. Here we are in the beautiful port of Bergen. Yes, we managed to get up here last time after several aircraft attacks, but we've managed to make it up and we'll be starting our uh, patrols from uh, Bergen from now on. Well, for the foreseeable future anyway. We can always change our later date. A couple of things we need to do. Obviously get the ship ready to go out and patrol, get our patrol orders, and also... Um, make sure we are uh, spend our reputation point and um, see what else we can get actually so let's go straight to the leading officer I'm just gonna have a quick look they are being still Der being researched well <laughs> I love how we don't even look at him in the eyes yeah 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 just slip me a brown envelope with my orders in it um, first of all let's have a look at the favors there are two favors we can um, choose between. Specialized crew 2 increases officers on board to 7 or free roam where we don't need to have any orders. Both are pretty nice but I think for now I'm quite happy to have a couple of more um, orders considering we're 55% on getting another reputation point so probably at the end of the patrol we'll be able to buy this one. Get a 7th officer on board would be absolutely ace. Um, quickly check in the HQ we've got um, Scapa flow identification going on and we've got uh, research on the uh, the term 2 which is the conning tower and so that's the engineer there so we've got an engineer and a leader which is okay oh the capitaine has come away from there so let's go to the warehouse wake up sunshine I love it must be it must be a pipe and eye patch must be a record um, must be a requirement for getting like a port um, store <laughs> foreman sort of job um, right for, we need five first aid kits we've got five on one of the radio off officers and we're gonna give uh, five to the other we've got 40 potassium absorbers so that's fine get some more spare parts five should probably do it uh, food what do we got here we've got some canned meat let's get some more canned meat I'm going to try and see we've got loads of capacity weight wise but we've got very few inventory slots so I'm going to try and just double up with what we do have um, so sausages can go on to sausages lovely uh, potatoes on potatoes lovely we'll get some exotics because they do like their exotics don't they um, and we'll probably that's probably going to be enough I should imagine ammunition what we got here? 22 large caliper high explosives. There we go. Okay, we'll get some more of those. Oh, hang on. Oh, really? Has that bugged it out now, is it? This is large caliper high explosives. That's large. Okay, so if I do that, I can't transfer anymore. Oh, it's because of the weight limit. Silly me. I'm not looking at the weight limit. We've only got 3 kilograms over, so we've got star shells interesting and um, and we've got some armor piercing as well yeah we'll keep the star shells that's fine uh, flat gun we've, we've got a hundred K limit so that's okay what do we have small caliper armor piercing small caliper high explosive small caliper high explosive and that's maxed that one out and they're pretty even that's pretty good okay happy with that Fuel. Let's get a full tank. Always have a fuel tank for you know. Uh, we didn't fire a torpedo, so we got that's all good. We'll get another rebreather for our engineer. She will get another. Can we not? We can only get one, can we? Fine. Okay. Goodbye. We'll uh, we'll wait 23 hours for that to be completed. Lovely. Send him over to the recruitment guy. And the men are just like saluting in the way. Brilliant. Um, who do we have? We've got a spare. Oh, yeah, we have got the spare officer who is a leader, Jürgen Schmidt. We've got Manfred Müller, who's a leader, who's doing the reconnaissance into Scapa Flow. And we've got Jürgen Schultz, who's an engineer, and he's doing the work on the conning tower. So we'll get um, Jürgen. To join the crew as our seventh officer. So we've got three leaders now, and we just got uh, um, seamen there, which is fine. 
Okay, before they start chanting, we're going to go and get some orders. Bern Biddy Buddha from the BDU. From the BDU. I like how he says that. So, we have patrol sector AF, which is doing 2,000 kilometers in that sector. Do sector AB, which is. Uh, 2,250 kilometers inside that and we'll put join La Spezia port flotilla. No, we've literally just made it here. So let's I'm just trying to, let's let's just do this. I'm just grinding out the unlocks and the um, the upgrades. So we should be have the conning towers completed and also the uh, uh, scapper flow info done and we should also get um, you can see that 55% reputation. We could probably also get another reputation spend, and then we can go freestyle, which would be pretty cool. Right. So let's get Adam Newman on the old radio, and then we'll send old Wolfgang to bed because he's looking a bit tired. Just waiting for the captain to come on board now. I'll speed up the time a wee bit. Where is he? There he is. <laughs> and when we can start to make away. So this is our new guy, Schmidt. Uh, what's his skills? Uh, he's unassigned, so he can be. A, should we? Quick medic gunner. He can be the uh, watch officer. His shirt's not quite. Um, his shirt's fine actually. It's not. It's not too bad. He's got connections, so he could go to the. Um, he can go to the HQ and work on all upgrades. So we'll probably swap him out after this uh, mission. He'll get some uh, combat experience and then uh, we'll um, swap him out. He's Chief Boatsman. Captain is the watch officer. Can he not just be captain? Okay, no, that's fine. We'll leave that as is. Um, Larice. What, what's your skill? You're down as a mechanic. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, West. Probably chief engineer. Okay, cool. Yep. Uh, Newman. Uh, I just sent him to bed by mistake. Uh, radio officer. Yep. Uh, so what's Wolfgang down as? Unassigned. Here we go. Te um, technician officer, possibly. Medic. He can certainly be a medic. Um, and that's all good. Right. Let's plan our escape. Now, we do know Bergen has some treacherous sandbars, so we've got to be very cautious of those. So let's start creeping our way out of port. And let's try and avoid uh, all this. So you do have the depth thingy here. Get rid of that. Here. And you can kind of judge. See, it's really shallow there. So I think we have to hug this up here somewhere. Okay, that should be okay. Right, we'll get <laughs> we'll get on, and uh, hopefully we'll keep an eye on that to see uh, how we go. Um, but yes, we're off, and hopefully we'll get some uh, good kills this time. So we'll press on, and I'll see you in a little bit. Oh, right, dive, 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 dive. We've just come across five uh, corvettes heading in our direction. Um, we've completed our patrol. Our patrol was literally in this square here. Uh, so I thought I'd come down here and see if I can get some action. Uh, and this is not the kind of action I want to get into. Five Corvettes bearing down on us. We're diving, diving, diving. Right. Come on, boys. Let's get this. I say we're diving. West was on the valves. We should be going down any second now. Can you see the smoke on the horizon? No. Fortunately, we had um, Schmidt here. You can see he had a couple of officers as well. A couple of um, men assigned to him, so they had the maximum visibility. Uh, we've also completed um, a task for reconnaissance of the port defences at uh, Scapa Flow, which is great. Um, 
Now, bearing in mind we've got a leader here, we might as well get him to do um, Cardiff as well. And we are safely below the waves, heading down to 150 meters. Actually, right, we just come to 50 meters. I don't think they spotted us. So I think we're probably okay. Uh, we go quiet. Then uh, hopefully they should be able to just pass us by. If we um, get old Adam onto the hydrophone. Hi everyone. Right, we've come to periscope depth. And I'm just going to... Um, I think we're far enough away. We'll just shove the old snorkel up. Um, so we can use uh, get some air in here and uh, use the diesel engines, recharge the batteries. The batteries are fine, to be fair, 96%. Schnuckle going up. Excellent. Excellent. Hoop hoop. We do look like a, a little steam train. Brilliant. So, we are rocking and are rolling. Um, so our sight is now as uh, as large as the hydrophone, so we can probably take him off the hydrophone. Uh, you can go to bed actually, he's looking very tired. Very tired indeed. Wolfgang's got some rest, so they can swap over in a second. Uh, but while we've got the observation on, that's not too bad. Um, Jürgen, you go do a bit of navigation for a second. We're out in the sea. A bit of navigation would be good. Right, those warships have turned and they're going that way, so we're going to... Oh, here's all those port defences that we saw around Scapa Flow. Look at all these subnets and the minefields. Yeah, that's a challenging, challenging approach. Don't want to go back there. Don't want to go back there, that's for sure. Right, we're going to come um, down here and hopefully find some uh, shipping. So we'll press on. I'll see you in a bit. Hi, everyone. We've been quickly intercepted by... Um, an aircraft, um, we can't get away from it. We're not going to be able to dive in time. I know everyone says, you should dive. You should know that by now. Well, you, you don't have the time to dive if they catch you catch you late. So we're just going to be um, trying to defend the boat as always. Where is he? As you see, it's really murky and um, we had our radio guys having a bit of a break. That's allowed the uh, aircraft to sneak up on us. Well, we've got look at that. We got all the uh, we got all the guys on the guns, which is good. And hopefully we'll be able to uh, shoot her down. Unless uh, here she comes. Right, we get the we go at flank speed. We'll get the um, the rudder available there, so we can uh, quickly change course when she does her attack runs. Right, we're going to climb to periscope depth. I think the cloud has allowed us to um, get away from the aircraft without her actually spotting us. It probably spotted us on radar, but we we are able to get enough um, pace away with going flank speed that maybe she didn't um, actually get an observation on us. Tanks have been flooded. I can now hear the roar of the engines. Of the aircraft. Couldn't see it though. Oh, there we go. Oh, this game, brilliant. Right, west. We got we got some uh, damage down here. Now there's some injured crew members. Right, Wolfgang, go in. Uh, first aid, then please. Larice. Oh, sorry. Adam, you can go first aid that guy. Um, take us down. Has all the damage been repaired? We've got two injured crew members, but I don't see much in the way of damage on the ship, which is good news. Um, do we have water in? There looks to be water, but you're never quite sure if that's just the graphics coming through. I think we're okay. 
Uh, we, we don't need to be going flank speed now. Let's just slow down. Yeah, we waited on the surface because we knew we wouldn't be able to get down in time. And then it seemed that the aircraft had uh, not spotted us, but she had. Right, these two guys are uh, recovering from their wounds, which is good. First first aid was successful. Uh, stand your man down. Alright, they can go back. Everyone is happy. He's a bit stressed, old Walter Koss, but that's okay. Um, good. Okay, that was that wasn't great. That was really annoying, actually. But um, it is the way sometimes. You make a decision, and it doesn't always go for you. Right? Yeah, this will do. Hold here. In fact, 50 meters. Go back to 50 meters. We'll stay down here for a little while. Let the aircraft clear off, and then we'll uh, come back to periscope depth and have a look, see what's going on. Hi everyone, welcome back. Right, we're coming back into the port of Bergen. Why are here you ask? Well, we did get a bit of damage when we were over Northern Ireland, but not found anything in the meantime, and we're running low on fuel. So I thought I'd, we'd best come back, re-equip and go out again, because um, that was a bit of a fruitless, rewarded um, uh, trip. If we've got enough uh, reputation to buy a reputation point, obviously we then don't need any... Um, orders we can go free roaming however I still probably will get the orders because you've always got the chance of the secondary orders coming through when you're on patrol such as you go to a patrol sector there's a, a, a ship with some um, technology you want to get or sink must be sunk you know those kind of missions or a friend of U-boats in trouble those kind of missions I know they're quite repetitive but they also a give us something to do but they can also bring us um, uh, some rewards as well right so we're going to go into dock now and speed this process up and look at the uh, the woeful turn on this u-boat uh, maybe we should better go into this bay instead slow down a bit how are we gonna do we're we gonna we're we gonna actually make it spin it round turn it round turn it round uh, we can get Wolfgang you go to sleep we'll get all these officers rested now um, why don't you go and play some cards? There we go. Just to try and chill them out, rest them up. There we go. Bonk, 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 bonk. We didn't make it. The turning on this boat is horrendous. Right, okay, let's boy. let the crew um, be unassigned for the moment. We'll get the captain and we'll send him to the leading officer. First of all, to get the um, reward from that uh, pointless patrol we just did. There we go. 50% reward. Excellent. So... No one leveled up, I don't think. Uh, a few favours. We'll get the free roam one. And that is all favours purchased, which is great. Um, and what I'm also going to do is go to the recruiting man. Where's he off? <laughs> he goes, right, it's late, I'm off. Um, what we're going to do is unassign... Jürgen. And Manfred can come on board. Excellent. So we got Jürgen. Another, we got the two Jürgens, Smith and Schultz. One's an engineer, one's a officer. However, that officer... Go away. That officer can has got good connections, so he should be able to do any of these, these all engineering jobs left. So we've got solar decoys. Um... Accumulators. We've got uh, armored conning tower, which uh, he's working on at the moment, and we've got uh, G T3 torpedoes. Well, let's get some, and we should be able to assign Jurgen, even though he's a leader, because he's got the all connections um, trait. So uh, we can get that done. Excellent. All right, let's get some. Was brauchst du, Herr Kaloy? Oh, he looks cheery as always. Get some upgrades. Right, what were we upgrading? Can you remember? We were upgrading the conning tower, weren't we not? Yes, a term two. Uh, tier two conning tower is fitted with two 20mm cannon barrels with eight double A guns. Yes. Right, while well, that's getting f fixed and fitted, we'll obviously have a bit of rest. What else? We, do? we also did some research on 
Um, aerial reconnaissance, wasn't it? So that should be all we need from there. Look at that! Look at that! Isn't that weird? Where the um, the conning tower has disappeared. You can see the lights. You can see the bits of the snorkel and the bits of the radar and stuff. Right, let's have a bit of a... We might as well get some um, fuel on board. We might as well do this so we have one weight rather than two weights. We'll get another one of those. Ammunition. Um... Oh, we didn't fire anything, so we're all good there. Food-wise, um... we'll get another 14 fruits because I know we got those on board. Uh, 15 of those, yeah. And then... Oh, okay. Well, we'll move them together later. That's all okay. Some of that, yep. Equipment wise, I think we're good. I think we're good. Excellent, right? Thanks very much. We're going to have a rest for four days now, boys. So, um, chill out and enjoy yourselves. And hopefully the conning tower should. Yay! We've got a conning tower! And we've got two big old flat guns on there. Fantastico. Right. Uh, all these officers are still tired, even though they've had four days rest. Great! Um, I am going to send the captain to go and... Uh... Dum diddy do. We're going to get some orders anyway, see, what, see what's on offer, just in case we still want to do them. Um, as I said, there's no reason, just because we don't have to, there's no reason why we, we, we should not. Cardiff docks, well we've... Nah, let's not bother. Belfast Harbour. That are corvette sized or larger. These intelligence collected recently in HQ to avoid. Ah, so that is a. Um, there's another option. We don't have the. Um, we don't have that, but we could definitely try that. Let's go for Belfast Harbour. Right, wait for the captain to come on board. That has got literally 17 hours for the next um, research to be done. Uh, so we'll plot our way out of here. Now you've got to try and get the. You've got to kind of hug the land here and go up there. <laughs> Otherwise, you get stuck. Um, right, so we go to Belfast Harbour, which is pretty much where we almost went last time. So um, we'll, we'll continue around here, down here. That'll probably do for now. Ooh, right, to reach Belfast Harbour. Is the captain on board? No, come on, captain. Get a wiggle on. Come on, sunshine. Oh, I didn't mean to take control of him. Captain, you coming? You coming? Where is he? There he is. Go on, captain. In you go, brilliant. Right, captain's on board. Let's get rocking and a all rolling. Right, we'll press on and hopefully skip the, a lot of the uh, the crews uh, until we uh, come across something interesting or we get intercepted or something like that. So, fingers crossed, it all goes well. Uh, I'll see you in a little bit. Hi everyone, welcome back. Right, the armoured conning tower work has been completed. Um, now they did mention air reconnaissance of Belfast, but there's nothing there. So uh, we've got sonar decoys, accumulators one. Let's get the accumulators. Actually, sonar decoys. What? Oh no, we've already got that under research. Uh, so accumulators it is. Uh, there we go, accumulators it is. Get them researched as well. Um, just got the diesel air compressor going now to uh, get that all working. Good, right? We're gonna press on. There's Belfast all the way over there. In fact, we have a, we don't have a watch watch officer at the moment, but let's just get rid of that bloody flag, just so we can when we need to. Right? Uh, we are literally not very far at all. We are there. <laughs> so we're gonna press on, and I'll see you in a little while. Hi everyone, welcome back. Right, there is Northern Ireland, and look, we've got 
Ships. There's one. There's two of them. There's three of them. And they are unescorted. So, happy days. Let's let's um, get the periscope a little bit higher. Uh, we are on snorkel, so they can see our smoke, actually. But, um... Hey-ho. Um, <laughs> just... Let's have a look and see what we think this is then. Um, Empire Explorer? Mm, possibly, possibly not. Hang on. No, it doesn't have the little cranes at the back. Oh, maybe. Difficult to say. Let's just skip through though, see what else they've got. Sorry, I was listening to what the guy was saying. Um, Yes, it's a N A one. That's what that is. Oh, it's Swedish. Yeah, oh. Would you add them and even it? And two more freighters behind it. Okay, let's go back. Uh, we better report that in actually. Yep, good. Right. Yeah, so we got her uh, identified. Let's have a look now. This is the range. So we uh, the front to there. I reckon it's about there. One nautical mile. Um, speed. Go. Tick tock, tick tock. Halfway. There we go. Five knots she's doing, and then we gotta set her angle to us. Um front so she's going kind of like that. Would you say? Let's have a look Capitaine. at the map. What do we reckon? So we are pointing at that direction. Can't see her now. Uh, she's coming there. Yeah. Got some larger ships behind her, actually. Oh, maybe we should. Well, we've got that one identified. Maybe we should get the other ones identified yeah, as well. Okay. Grand stuff. Where's the next one? Here she is. Look at this. We'll lock this one up. Let's um, get the periscope a little bit higher. I know we're, we're um, to go to Belfast. We did have a a notification. Try to get to Belfast without being spotted. But when that aircraft, literally out of the port of Bergen, once we encountered that, that objective had gone. So um, I'm not too worried about trying to keep too quiet these days. Um, quite happy to uh, have a pop. There we go. I think she's an Empire Tower. She's Swedish as well. Oh, the Swedish mafia representing today. Oh, I say mafia. That's a, <laughs> that's a house band, isn't it? But um, the Swedish guys are represented today. Look at that. Click. She seems to be going a little bit quicker than uh, five knots, but you never know. Almost there. Five knots as well. Okay. And uh, again, she's going kind of like that. Nice. Ecoloid. Right. So, um, this one, let's get Newman plotting that with the um, hydrophone. I want to get both of them plotting that one. Um, these two we've kind of plotted. I'm not sure whether or not they're 
So yeah, only 11% on there, so you get plotting that one. Maybe that's not quite as correct as I thought it was. This one's 19%. Um, captain, why don't you go on the observation? And then we can get the captain also um, calculating on this one. Once the captain actually gets there. Let's give these a guy or two, just so they can um, increase their calculations. There you go, you get the captain to work on that one. Just to make sure, just to double check my calculations, and that should be all well and good. And in fact, what we should do, I've been, I've been resisting because I'm lazy. We'll put that down, go to electric engines, and um, there you go, put them on electric engines. And then uh, we should be super secret, super safe. This one's almost 70% done. Double checking my calculations. Come on. Let's speed up time a little bit. All of the boys working hard. There you go, 94%. That's pretty good. Right, so um, second one. Let's get all you three working on that one. Meanwhile, we will use you and we'll target this one. Flood one. Targeting this one here. Fire. Torpedo away. Right now, this one, we're all calculating it. We're up to 82%. We'll get flood. Tube 2 flooded. Now uh, we'll wait till it clocks over to 90% and then we'll fire. Ninety percent fire too. There she goes. <laughs> kind of like cat catapulted out almost, but um, all right, we'll keep an eye on the torpedoes, see how they're doing. Meanwhile, we got the third ship. Torpedo ausrichten. Torpedo course berechnet. Oh, I've accidentally selected the um, torpedo yeah, rather than what I want to do. This one, we want to get all the guys calculating that one. Oh, the little drummer boy says we hit the second one. That suggests the um, the first torpedo may have missed. Yes, the first torpedo did indeed miss. Right, okay. Calculations on this ship. Uh, calculations on the third ship are um, progressing well. I want to get the captain working on this one again. Actually, target the second one. This took some damage, but not a lot. Fire. So we should be firing at this one. Sorry. Uh, this one's slightly... We might have to chase this one down with the, the deck gun, I'm thinking. She's kind of out of our way. Right. Captain, let's lock on to the this one again. All three officers are now working on this one. 96%. We'll flood tube 5. Give Larice some guys to work with. How are we doing? 97%. Come a nice angle now, fire. Treffer. Good! Second hit on that one. Fire on board. Good. Excellent. Let's just wait for a hit on this one, hopefully. The Empire Tower has been sunk for 25,000. Nice. 
We'll get that reported. She's going down quick as well. Crikey. 20 seconds. 20 seconds. 30 seconds. Oh, it was a long 10 seconds, wasn't it? What? Where did he learn to count? Hit Trevor. <laughs> Trevor. Brilliant. I think that one could be... Which torpedo are you sharing about? This one here? That one's gone, mate. That's gone. Right. So we got a sunken ship there. We got this ship um, full of blaze. Excellent. Right. Um, let's get going. Uh, we're right on um, Northern Ireland's coastline, so this could be new contact, unknown group. Hopefully, it's just the um, the f uh, that Empire Tower sunk as well. Yep, she's gone. The two larger ships we've managed to. Sink. Beautiful. Right now, it's just this uh, NA1, which is uh, getting away from us. Hell. We're going to risk it for a biscuit. Surface the boat. Okay, here we are. We're chasing down this ship now. Um, I did see Muller. Um, he leveled up. So, um, do we want to give him some focus? Let's give him some gunnery. So he's, good. he's also a good chef, apparently, as well. He's the quartermaster, which is good news. Um... Now that he's just got his uh, his skill, let's stick him on the gun, shall we? Why not? Why not? Oh, this camera ang this camera is so ganky. It's, it's awful. Would you got? Oh, would you just go on the gun? It's easier to do it this way. Otherwise, you've got no chance. Give him a couple of guys. Here he comes. Take manual control of him. Well, once he's off the ladder, we'll take man the control of him. We're going to possess your soul. Well, apparently I can't. Until he's actually um, completed his assignment. There we go. Now I can. Right. Spin the gun round, boys. Spin the gun round. We've got high explosives loaded. Fantastico. Uh, there's the ship there. Uh, we can potentially uh, start to slow down a bit. Fire! Bit of a hit on the rear. Just trying to get this deck of lights. Something fell off. <laughs> One of the little mast and cranes has just gone into the water. Go on, boys. Just abandon ship and sink. I know you're technically neutral, but that doesn't matter. We've been starved of any cargo ships in this game, so we are taking anything. We are the pirates of the sea. Fire on board, nice. Well, look, red red boxes, and if I know computer games, if you hit a red box or a red barrel, there's going to be explosions. Yes, fires on the front as well. Look. Boom! There go your cranes and masts, boys. Oh, she's sinking, is she? Oh, the front just fell off. <laughs> and she's gone. Look at him. The watchman. To the last second. No, no, no. We're gone. We're done for. Excellent. Well done, boys. Well done. Right. Um, you can stand down your men. We'll, we'll report that one sunk. If I come over here, other way, boys, other way. Can we get the uh, what we got in the wooden chest? Nothing. Nothing. Well, I got my two wooden chests in my dinghy. <laughs> we're just we're collecting. I'm a collector of crap. It would have here. Right. Anyway, that's good. Let's get up here. Back onto the conning tower. Lovely. Right, we've um, we've had our first bit of engagements off the uh, 
the northern Irish coast. We are now obviously gonna we're gonna make a little bit of a, a wider berth just because they're probably gonna send aircraft and planes over there, so we're gonna get out of dodge. That's all looking good. Um, finally, a bit of action. Oh, we've been craving that for so long, so so long. I'm going to send Muller to bed. He's done quite well for the last uh, 20 minutes or so. Um, I'm going to leave it there for this episode. We'll pick up next time as we go and try to complete our raid on Belfast Dock. So, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this episode of U-Boat. We're back in the action, finally. And, uh, yeah, I do appreciate all the support you give me. That said, don't forget, please hit that, that uh, subscribe button and tick all the bell. And also... Uh, hit the share button under the video and share it on social media. Plus, if you've enjoyed the video, please tick that like button. Excuse me, it really does help the uh, the series grow. It's fantastic. Thank you ever so much, and I'll see you next week.